hey guys welcome back to my channel so in this uh, tutorial we'll implement the ai perception technique for the dragon so in our case we are implementing the site configuration so as you can see the dragon can sense the player when he is within the green circle so the little deep the ball debug shows that he senses us so we'll also implement the distance between the dragon and the character so once the dragon enters into the combat mode it will start finding the distance between the dragon and the character as you can see the debug at the top of your screen so this will help us drive the behavior of the combat so let's get right into it okay so let's go into the dragon ai controller So once we go there, we need to add a new component called AI Perception. So once you add the AI Perception, you need to go to the Details panel and you need to add the Census Config. Add a new Census Config called AI Site Config. And then you can change the Distance Site Radius to be around 2000. And the Loose Site Radius is 2000. So we need to also check these two boxes, Detect Neutrals and Detect Friendlies. Let's play the game and check if it if the perception works fine. So if you click the single quote uh, button on the keyboard, you get the AI perception debug menu and pressing the number four on the numpad will give you the perception. So as you can see, the perception is working fine. When we are within the radius, it shows up. Let's move outside the radius. And you, as you can see, it no longer senses us. And the uh, ball debug stays on screen because we gave the age as zero uh, in the site config, which means it stays on screen forever. I mean, it, that, push, that location is recorded forever. Now let's go into our AI folder. And create a new behavior tree. This behavior tree is used for combat. So let's name it dragon underscore combat PT. This drives the combat behavior of our dragon. As So in our idle PT, we delete the push pawn action and then create call run behavior. So we'll select the combat BT here. So in, in the dragon combat BT, let's create a new sequence node and then add a service to this sequence node. So create a new ser service class called check distance. So this basically calculates the distance. Let's name it calculate distance service. Save this and then override the receive tick AI. Cast this to our to our controller, which is the Dragon AI controller. Before moving forward, we need to go back to our controller and then create a new function called Update Perception. So once this is created, we will call this particular function from our service class. So in update perception, we get the AI perception and then we call this particular method called get known perceived actors with the census as AI site config. So this gets all the actors which are in the site radius of our dragon. So we loop through each one of the actors and then check if it is a third person character. So by casting it to a third person character, which is the player. Once this is successful, we get that particular actor's location. We then get the controlled pawn and then get the actor's location of this pawn. So now we have two locations. We need to find the distance between them. So Unreal has this distance node 
which we can use, which finds the distance between two vectors and returns a float value. So we, in this case, we are finding the distance between our actor, between the player and the dragon. So let's create a new method called set blackboard distance, which we'll use in the future videos, which has an input of distance of float time. Let's call this particular method. And then patch the set blackboard distance. For now, let's print out the blackboard distance. Because in the future, we'll be looking at checking whether the player is near the dragon or whether he's far from him. Now let's go to our behavior tree and add a new service which we just created called the calculate distance. We'll just change the node name to calculate distance. Save this. And this calculate distance will call the per update perception class, which in turn will call the blackboard distance, which basically prints the debug string. So let's check this out. So now the dragon enters into the combat mode after the roll and as you can see the debug menu it keeps uh, printing out the distance so we are in idle mode now now the dragon enters into the combat mode and then it starts printing out the distance between the character and the dragon based on the distance we will drive the combat of the Right. Thank you.